Mecca, the birth city of the Prophet Muhammad and the holy city to which millions of Muslims travel in order to perform the Hajj, the holy pilgrimage and one of the pillars of Islam. According to the traditional narrative about Islamic history, before the time of Muhammad, it was an important trade city in the middle of the Hejaz region, founded by Ismail or Ishmael, the son of Abraham in the far past. And it is the Islamic historical narrative about the city of Mecca that we are going to discuss in this video. And no, of course, it is not the questioning of the existence of the origin from Ismail that is going to be questioned here. No, what I'm going to discuss is rather the far more radical view proposed by people such as the late Patricia Krone and many other revisionist historians that have questioned the very existence of Mecca before the time of Islam, or at least questioned its existence as an important trade city in the middle of the Hejaz region, in the middle of the western parts of the Arabic Peninsula. Mecca as a city, or as an important trade city, would here be seen by these people as being an imaginary ideological creation made by later writers in order to create an Islamic foundational myth. Patricia Krone, for example, argued that the birthplace of Islam should not be seen to be around modern-day Mecca, but should be regarded as coming from a more northern part of the Arabic Peninsula. The main argument for Mecca not existing, made by Patricia Krone and by other revisionist historians, are that the sources are lacking mentioning Mecca as an important city, and that Mecca does not appear until a hundred years after the time of Muhammad in the sources, outside of Islamic traditions and sources which might have been made later, and are seen as being too biased as these sources try to confirm, to affirm the Islamic narrative. Otherwise, in all the vast corpus of ancient literature, there is not a single reference to Mecca, not one. Only in 741, more than a hundred years after the Prophet's death, does it finally crop up on the pages of a foreign text, and even then, the author locates it in Mesopotamia midway between Ur and Haran. It should be mentioned here though that there are some ancient sources which could have mentioned Mecca but by another name. You have Claudius Ptolemaeus from the 2nd century AD who mentioned 50 cities on the Arabic peninsula, some of which we don't know where they were or have not yet identified and it's possible that one of these are Mecca especially the city mentioned as Makuraba, though Patricia Krone has stated the following in regards to this possibility as The plain truth is that the name Makuraba has nothing to do with that of Mecca. If Ptolemy mentions Mecca at all, he calls it Mokka, a town in the Arabia Petra. Though on the subject of Mokka, the Greek historian Didorus Siculus makes a similar mention about Mukka, but further up in northern Hayaz, around the Nebatean area, and with a slightly different name through the different vowel. In the Quran, Mecca is only mentioned as Mecca once, but it's also referred to as Bakka in the Quran. Inna awal bayti wudi'a lil nasi'a lalladhi bi bakkata ubaraka wa hudan lil alamain. Indeed, a house first blessed was established for the people at Bekka, a guidance for both the worlds of men and jinn. From this passage, it's not entirely clear that this refers to Mecca as it could refer to something else. However, traditionally, this verse has been seen as referring to Mecca. Do Mecca is mentioned by the name Mecca in the Quran as well. Yet, even if we assume that Bekka is another name for Mecca. There is no pre-Islamic source that refers to a Bekka either. However, now some of you might be thinking, what about other evidence with regards to the existence of Mecca? Well, as for archaeology, not a lot of Mecca has been studied. And there is also the issue that most parts of the old city 
from the centuries around the time of Muhammad have been torn down and rebuilt several times in history, which hides a lot of traces and destroys a lot of evidence, meaning that even future studies that are conducted might not find anything. Yet when it comes to archaeology, there is some evidence, not for Mecca directly, but for the port city of Jeddah, which is sometimes considered the port of Mecca. We have evidence of the port city being active in pre-Islamic times and it is even mentioned in inscriptions with both the name Jeddah and other names, but it is undoubtedly the same city. And going back to changing names, names can change a lot through history. For example, the second holy city of Islam, Medina, went from Yathrib to al Medina to al Munawaratu, the illuminated city during the time of Muhammad, or simply Medina, the city. Several cities which we have not identified the location of in various pre Islamic sources could have had very different names later, especially as those sources are in other languages than Arabic. And a lot of things can change in translations. And names usually change a lot in translations. And many cities and places today have very different names depending upon the language that is used to refer to these cities. And of course in this case it is much harder because these sources that could be referring to the city of Mecca are spread over several centuries of time difference. Mecca is also a very non-saying name as it is from the root Meme Kath that has to do with having drinks, sucking up water and water generally. For example, Yamuku, he slurps up, Makuk, drinking cup or drinking vessel. And the name Mecca, due to certain rules or regularities in pre-Islamic Arabic about not repeating Mamma and then a double consonant, is actually an archaic place form. Thus, the name Mecca literally could be translated as drinking place or watering place. With that meaning considered, this is a very generic name that could be used to describe a lot of settlements. And is also something that you could begin to call an already established city or place as. And considering the generic nature of this, it might have almost been too generic or not the proper name at all to use when referring to Mecca in the past when you want to be specific. And by the way, the name Mukka, as mentioned by Ptolemaeus and Didorius, is from the same root and has the same meaning in Nabataean, a language that was spoken and written in the north of the Arabic Peninsula, which could be either considered an older dialect of Arabic or a very closely related language. The meaning of watering place and several places being called the watering place is also not really something that goes against possibility. Thus those revisionists that argue that Mecca is probably a place further up north because those places were also called Mukka or Mecca in the past before the classical Islamic narrative of placing Mecca in the middle of Hejaz need to consider that the name watering place is so generic that just because another place is named that does not mean that Mecca of today could also not have been named that. A place named Mukka or Mecca in the north does not exclude a place being named Mecca in the middle of the Arabic peninsula in ancient times. And speaking about questioning the classical Islamic historical narrative, it is not like that the existence of a city is of the same nature of claim as many other things found in the Islamic traditions, which are of a supernatural nature. Talking about miracles that might not be provable to have happened or not is far different from claiming that a city existed. The claim of a city existing seems a pretty grounded claim that is easy to check out. Mecca is also a city that is mentioned pretty early in Islamic history through the Quran, and a city does not just randomly pop up over a generation like that usually. So the claim of Mecca being an important city is likely not a direct blatant lie as that would have been found out by contemporary people. Here I am also going to present some arguments as to why Mecca probably existed as is described in the Islamic sources. Mecca strategically and economically makes sense as a city where it is placed 
It is in the middle of a highway of trade, with trade routes connected to the Ethiopian Yemeni Indian trade in the south, going through the land routes, through the place where Mecca is placed, connecting with the northern Middle East, bringing wares back and forth, from south to north and from north to south, with Mecca in the middle. And we know that this trade was enormous and very rich, as we can see other large and very old cities along these land routes even before Islam. Far before Islam in fact. Cities such as the current capital city of Yemen, Sana'a, which I have made a video about that you can check out after this video. Inland cities, especially along these rich land trade routes, were not something unheard of on the Arabic Peninsula. Furthermore, Mecca has water, for example the famous holy Zemzem well. And Mecca lies in a good position on the road up and down the Arabic Peninsula to facilitate this trade and make sense as a stop station on the way in order to restock on water and get rest. We also know other cities that existed in pre-Islamic times such as Yathrib, Tema and Tabuk existed further up north. And like Mecca, even if these cities did not produce many goods themselves, they were important stopgaps and trading stations. I just disagree heavily with Patricia Krone about the fact that Mecca could possibly not have been important for trade due to being on land and not producing important goods itself, as other cities had the same features but were still important as stopgaps and as trading stations. Sure, Mecca might not have produced much by itself to trade, but it did have a position of being a place where wares could be exchanged and traders could rest or sell off and buy their wares for further movement north or south. You could kind of see Mecca as being the ancient equivalent of modern day Singapore. Not that important due to their own production, but very important due to their strategic location and they acting as a center of trade and commerce. Also, without Mecca existing, there is a lot of empty space where a city or stop station would make sense. Especially the port city of Jeddah does not really make sense without another city or water source being close by. As stopping in the middle of the Red Sea rather than continuing north or south would be more of an unnecessary delay and you could always stop on the other side on the African continent to stop as well. Stopping at Jeddah would only make sense if there was a center of land trade or water source close by such as Mecca. And as we know that Jeddah at least existed in the past before Islam due to inscriptions mentioning the place and due to archaeological direct evidence of the port existing in pre-Islamic times and a lot of other cities existing on the Arabic Peninsula with similar features to Mecca in pre-Islamic times, together with the rather grounded claim of claiming the existence of a city, which could be easily disproved if not existing, and hard to invent from thin air, as cities take time to create and become cities. I personally think it makes sense that Mecca probably existed, though it was probably called something else in older pre-Islamic times such as Bekka or some other name that non-Arabs or Arabs use to refer to the city. Yet I see little to outright react the later Islamic sources claim with regards to Mecca existing as an important trade city. Lack of written clear pre-Islamic sources mentioning Mecca does not invalidate later Islamic sources nor does it invalidate more indirect archaeological evidence and logical contextual reasons for Mecca existing in pre-Islamic times. But what are your thoughts about this entire issue, my viewers? Please give me your thoughts in the comment section and also give this video a like. Please do subscribe as it would help the channel spread awareness about the humanities.